Greetings and welcome back to Pocket Ants. And the Christmas event 2021 has begun. And as you can see at the top, we have a candy cane. So uh, let's go take care of that first because we need uh, activity to be loading in. And then we have some issues to deal with. Uh, including a spider apparently, but that shouldn't be a big problem right now. We are going to have a little bit of time to work with, but we do need to get the activity going and then we'll take a look at the specifics of the event because I haven't looked and I'm uh, not even sure what the new gift is going to be. All right, so what we're going to do, of course, is we're going to go over here and we're going to say source. Boom. And of course, I have already said my worker ants to go after food, so that should happen really quickly. All right, let's go on down here. And, you know, I should probably get some friends because we're going to need them. All right, and there they go. They're going to be helping us out a lot, of course. The workers do all the work. All right, so, okay, your guys are going up there too. Oh, no, you are my warriors. I have 25 of them. Right, and apparently, see, I actually haven't gathered seeds in a long time. The reason is, is I kind of like the seeds being over there because they have to go right through my warriors in order to get to them, which means they get slaughtered without me having to do very much. All right, but in the meantime, um, yeah, let's go. Let's take care of, we got a couple things to take care of. One, we have to knock out the queen, right? All right, let's take a look at the event. All right, so at the top, we have the activity bar. We need to get that to a thousand. It's going to start moving very soon because, of course, we designated our worker ants to start gathering from the candy cane in terms of food. And you can see at the top, you get 200 points for conquering the red ant hill. We're going to take care of that right now. And then, of course, gathering the candy pieces in terms of food, you get one for each one. And then, of course, honeydew, pheromones, acorns. You can see the, on the map there's one right under us right now. And then the ads. And you can see the activity is now starting to flow in as the first wave of workers are coming back. And, of course, yes, it is a beetle. All right, we'll, we'll adapt. We'll adapt. I would have preferred a scorpion. I don't know why there is a problem with giving us scorpions, but, okay, that's a complication. The spider is right there. That's kind of a problem. All right, so let's just uh, see if we can do this without our ants being stupid. All right, hold on a minute. I'm trying to find the entrance. Okay, there it is right there. All right, so why don't you guys go right here? Okay, and my guys were stupid and wandered off. I really wish you had a little bit more control over them. Okay, so you guys go in there. All right, now I have to get in the hole there quickly. All right, where is that hole? There it is right there. All right, jumping in. All right, uh, kill them, please. Kill them, please. Okay, and just attack. And ding dong, the queen is dead. Oh, I got 10 gems for that. Yeah, it's fairly quick and easy to do if you know what you're doing. All right, and there was one survivor. Oh, and speaking of which, could you just kill this for me, please? Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, let me get my guys back here. All right, never go anywhere near the creature. It's a really bad idea. Okay, could, could you go over there and attack him? Okay, I guess not. Boom, dead. Okay, and we'll do another recruit. All right, uh, can I get rid of him? I would have to delegate somebody. I'm not sure how many corpses are on the screen. One, two, three. Three shouldn't be a problem. All right. It's five, I believe the limit is. I don't plan on killing anyone else, and I don't want to take anyone off gathering duty. All right, so let's start with the acorns, shall we? Okay, you guys are dismissed. Or I should say, you ladies are dismissed. So how are we doing here? All right, so you can see the activity is filling up quickly. We just added 200 to it. And you can see the gift at the bottom is actually resin. So we're going to grab our first round of resin. How much resin do I actually have here? Hold on a minute. Uh, down here... I'm going to have to spend that because I'm going to overflow fairly soon, ain't I? 
I think there was something that I wanted to do that costed 25000 I think it was upgrading... Hold it a minute, hold it a minute. I think it was upgrading... Was it the Queen's Chamber? Yeah, it is upgrading the Queen's Chamber. Okay, so as soon as I get the 25000 I can just take care of that. All right, that's good. And then we'll just get the rest of the resin. All right, so that's going to, uh, that's going to work out all right. All right, so why don't we just close that for now. All right, and we're going to start gathering the acorns because the acorns, um, yes, they. I don't really need the activity because as you can see, the activity is filling up pretty good. But you know what? You do get stuff from it, even if it's just regular materials, right? Boom, there we got a whole bunch of seeds. All right, and of course, yes, we have found out that the... Um, the special creature is going to be a beetle, which is uh, its going to take a while to kill, especially if it's tougher than the normal one. Uh, let's take a look at the normal one, actually. We don't have a record here of the other one. This is the rhinoceros beetle. Um, the speed is very slow. The attack rate, I mean, its attack is basically blowing up when it gets attacked. So it doesn't have a conventional attack. In other words, it's not going to bite you. It's just if you attack it, it goes boom which makes it kind of tricky to uh, capture. You have to be very careful, otherwise it'll just wipe all your guys out every single time. I don't know if the new one is going to be different in behavior. I'm just basically going to treat it like a rhinoceros beetle. Uh, of course, we don't have a record of that yet because I haven't actually uh, tamed one yet, now have I? All right, and we can see the pieces of the, uh, the candy coming down right now. Now, I am doing this a lot later than I would have liked. There's actually only about an hour left in day one, but it's going to work out because I'm going to get both summons before the next day begins, right? It's better to be like that than to uh, do it right at the beginning, which unfortunately, apparently one of my viewers actually did that. Before watching my video, the event began and they just activated it immediately, which is very unfortunate. It's the reason why I push that so much, is that it's the single most important thing about these events that you need to learn. And that is, make it so that the special item that you gather from lasts two days. So it's unfortunate, but you know, the individual might get lucky with some summonses and such like that. It's just that you can, in two days, get a three-star if you get lucky. Now, I do have a bit of an issue here in terms of space. I only have one spot open. I was thinking of deleting the scorpions, you know, the one star and the two star, but I think a better idea would be to attempt a merger of my three star scorpions. I think that's probably not a bad idea. I do have an extra three star up here. So if it fails, I can just push that in there because, you know, when I get this new rhinoceros beetle, the special one, it's just going to replace my current one. It's not a matter of like it's going to replace a damage dealer because I have a feeling it's not going to change that much. So what I figure what we'll do very quickly is we'll do a fuse of these. It's going to fail. But it will, you know, it's a chance, a chance of maybe getting another four star because basically the three stars aren't really very useful to me at the moment. So let's just, uh, we'll give it a try. Like I said, I really count on it failing and, and it didn't fail. Okay, it didn't fail. That's, I, I, I've gotten very lucky with the scorpions for some reason. All right, well, you know what? Why don't we just put him down there and now we have two spots open. I can now pretty much get rid of the one star and the two star. I mean, I don't really need them anymore. Actually, I could probably get rid of the two star bombardier as well because I do have the special one down here and I have another one and I have this one. I don't know. Maybe I should try to make a four star bombardier. Maybe. I'm not going to push my luck today though. All right. So how are we doing? How are we doing? Okay. We're getting closer, getting closer to a thousand. That's what I mean. It'll just flow. You know, I did help it a little bit there. But basically, it's just going to flow. All right, let's just look around here to see if I can find... Oh, no, that's uh, that's the seeds. Yeah, looking for the uh, acorns... Can oh, there we go. We got lucked out there. Here's what I have found about looking for acorns. It's best to start with the middle of the screen. All right, so we're just going to gather that. 
Okay, and some food. You know, the thing is, if you're going to do that, it's going to make you more than actually gathering. I don't even bother with gathering anymore because if you get the acorns, that'll get you everything you want. All right, I'm nearly at the middle of the screen here. Hold on a minute. All right, so when I do my search pattern, I usually go down the middle and uh, you're obviously keeping your eye on the mini map there. How are we doing, by the way? Okay, 900. We have 100 to go, a little less than 100. And then basically, you kind of have to pick your direction. You can cover the whole board with three tracks. In other words, go down the middle and then pick either up or down. And then, you know, just kind of make sure that you cover all of new area here. Maybe we got lucky. I just do notice that a, down the middle, you run into it more often. But we do need to do something while we're waiting for the full thousand to kick in. Um, I don't really mind. Okay, so there. I'm going to do down. All right. Just don't go down far enough that you reach the aphids, right? All right. And hold it a second right there. All right. Let's see. Am I in the right place? A little bit further down. All right. I should be able to see everything in the lower part of the screen at this point if I just go straight across. Yeah. Basically, three trips you know, the middle, the top, the bottom, if you space it right, you should be able to find them. And it does become important. It's not really important at the moment because I do have the activity bar being filled up by the gathering. And it's going to take probably a long time to defeat the, uh, the other one. Okay, so it's probably in the top part of the board. We are going to go all the way over here, though, just in case. Oh, and there we go. All right, so it must be in the top part of the board. Of the map, I should say. All right, and how are we... Oh, 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 we, we got it already. All right, so... Attract. Okay, so where is it? Okay, there it is. Bright green. The good thing about this guy is you probably don't have to worry about him attacking you. All right, so I summon him so it's immediately filling up again. And it's snowing. Thank goodness the, slow, the snow, I should say, doesn't slow us down, right? All right, so let's see how this is going to go. I, I do want to get him away from there, though, because I don't want him blowing up and hurting my other ones there when he does it. Okay, um, attack. All right, hold on. Oh, retreat, retreat! There he goes. Okay, did he kill any of them? No, he didn't. All right, uh, attack. Retreat. Okay, and we'll just keep that up. Unfortunately, he has a lot of health. Oh, okay, move! Oh, and I'm going to miss it in time. Yeah, I lost one that time. All right, uh, recruit. His attack is a lot faster, though, isn't it? Okay, he's moving. No, no, no! Okay, I lost... Uh, <laughs> the guy who came in as a replacement is the one I lost. Okay, attack... Okay, when he starts moving, move, move, move. Okay, I lost more than one that time. All right. It's a lot quicker than the regular rhinoceros beetle. Move. All right, and going back in. Retreat. Okay, I didn't lose anybody, which is a good thing. Waiting. Move, move, move. You have to get away before he does that. Otherwise, he'll just kill everybody, right? All right. And he's moving. Now, if you don't have uh, 25 guys like I do, then this is probably going to take a longer time. But it's the same formula, right? Okay, move. Okay, he got, he got four that time. Unfortunately, he's getting a little bit too close to the workers, though. I want him to get away from the workers. I think we got him at half, though. And attack. And go. Okay, everybody lived. Oh, uh, I was too late on that one. Yeah, that one. A little bit too late on that. Let me get replacements. The Christmas beetle is deadly. It does seem to be attacking quicker. Or maybe that's just me. 
All right, and go, 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 go. Ooh, that was close. All right, we're back. Attack. Okay, I'm a little far away. Okay, go. All right, as long as you time it well, most of the time you should be fine, right? Okay, everybody lives. All right, he's going down, though. Okay, move on. Go, go, go. All right, and we, we nearly got him. We nearly got him. Okay, move. Okay, we lost one. He was brave. All right, but I do believe we're going to have him now. Okay, got him. Just in the nick of time. Capture. Very important. He was brave. All right, and I mean the one who fell. All right, so it took us uh, a while, so we got 300 going here now. That's what I mean, that the candy cane is just, it's free stuff. Because all you have to do is wait, and the activity bar will just fill itself. I mean, I could go looking for acorns, but I don't really need them right now. And I'm guessing, considering I'm going to be grabbing, you know, 10 acorns a day after tomorrow, because I'm going to have the candy cane tomorrow... I'm going to get a lot of this materials up here filling up. So it shouldn't be that much of a problem at all. All right. So I'm wondering how long he takes. Uh, they haven't been taken very long, usually about a minute or two minutes or something like that. So how long are you going to be? Okay. Yeah. About a minute and 30 seconds, I would guess, or something like that. So it's going to be about a minute left. So we'll just go outside and wait while the workers do their job. Just carry all that stuff around. All right, so let's see. Yeah, it's filling up very quickly. It's filling up quickly. And I do have the spots open for two of them. I'm immediately going to do a merge, by the way, when I get the second one. Um, hopefully, I can get the um, uh, the ones tomorrow, merge them. They get to be a two-star, and I can get a three-star right off. I don't know what I would do at that point. Because the thing is, rhinoceros beetles, how many of them do you actually need? You know, um, I'm guessing that it's pretty safe for me to just open up this last one for 200. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't look at the new skins. All right, let's check out the skins. All right, so, okay, we have an elf one here, right? All right, so we have an elf one. We have another one that looks like a candy cane. And then we have a little snowman one. Okay, that's unfortunate. The, uh, the, you don't get the opportunity for the Santa one. Very unfortunate. Oh, and he has been added to our army. Hold on a minute here. Okay, 500, 500, and 500. All right, it even shows you what it'll look like on each one of them there, too. All right, so we got a little elf, we got a candy cane, and, of course, the uh, the snowman. Well, I, I have my own Santa one, so I'm good with that. But you know what? It's kind of interesting to actually get one if you do have the gems, right? And you don't need to buy spots, which I'm going to have to do. All right, let's go check out our new friend in terms of his entry here in the log. All right, first things first, let's go back to him. All right, his health is nearly full. This is the regular rhinoceros beetle. His attack rate, that looks like about 45% or something like that. This guy did seem to be a lot faster in terms of his attack rate. And speed uh, should be interesting. All right, so let's go take a quick look at our new friend. His health is full. His attack rate, I guess the attack rate and speed are pretty much the same there, aren't they? Let's just quickly look back. Well, the speed of the new one looks like it is a little bit more. Close that. Switch over to special. It's, it's probably double speed, but, you know, it's still pretty darn slow. Christmas Beetle Special! Genus, whatever that word is. Christmas beetles are large members of the scarab family. They typically have elytra that are dark or light brown or green, while some species have a green-yellow iridescence. I'm guessing that's... He's got a little mix of everything. He looks like he's got a little screaming face on there, if you look at him. You know, with the skull and the two dots and the nose and then the open mouth. Ah, like that. All right, well, obviously, he's going to be stronger because the special creatures are stronger, right? They're considered to be like the golden ones, which is 
a star stronger than they appear. So even the one we have right now, which we have right over here, he's one star, but he's as strong as a two star. So I'm guessing that means he's going to have a lot more health and his attack is going to do more damage. Generally speaking, I keep them in the uh, mine in the Queen's Chamber when, I, um, when I'm fighting. Where is it? I should say when I'm defending. Where is the battle defense? Yeah, I keep it in the Queen's Chamber. So that's where the new one's going to go. Oh, right, I didn't move this guy back in here, did I? No, I didn't. All right, right there. And then assign. Right, because I just, uh, I just did that merger there, didn't I? All right, so let's get rid of this. Let's go back to the event. Okay, so we have 721, so we need another 1,000. And it's nearly full, and it's really close. Full, there we go. All right, so that's going to be that. All right, so summon, and you can see it's maxed, which means you can't do any more today. However, in less than an hour, I'm going to be able to do two more summons the same way because of the uh, candy cane going. Uh, I think in the meantime, though, I probably want to spread this out a little bit here. Here, you take some of this and you guys have some leaves for a while, just so it's a little bit on the even side. All right, so where is our soon-to-be friend? Actually, where is he? Didn't I, uh, did I hit the summon button? I could have sworn I hit the summon button. I did hit the summon button. Oh, there he is. He was hiding among the leaves up there near the leaf, and I didn't see him. He's in the upper left there. All right, so let's go, guys. Yeah, having 25 does help. So, I mean, if you have 10, it's probably going to take you longer, but it's the same formula. You know, you just got to get him out of there before. As soon as he starts moving, get him out. Oh, and I found the next uh, acorn, too. Not that I need it right now, but... Okay, everybody there? And attack. And then get ready. Move. Get out. Get out. There we go. All right, get back in there now. And go, 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 go. Okay, didn't lose anybody. Let's get in there a little bit. Come on, go. Attack, attack, attack. And move. All right, so you get the timing down. Most of the time, you're not going to lose anybody, right? Move. All right, that was actually close there. Yeah, I wish you could activate the attack a little bit closer because I don't want to get anywhere near there. Go. Fortunately, they're quick, too. I wonder if this speed boost helps with that. Go, 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 go. All right, so we're doing well here. No replacements needed so far. Go. Okay, and, and again. Move, move, move. Okay, and we're doing pretty well there. He's about 40%. I should say he's about 60%. We've taken 40% off. Go, 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 go. Okay, that's about half. And so far, I haven't lost anybody. Move. Oh, that was really close. That last one nearly didn't get away. Okay, attack. Okay, move. Oh, I got a little too far away there. All right. Like I said, I wish I didn't have to get so close. Move. Okay, we nearly got this. We nearly got this. Move. Quick breeze on that last one in the back of their neck, right? Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, I was quick. I was slow with the button that time. Unfortunately, two of our ladies uh, paid the price for it, too. All right, go. Go, 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 go. Oh, I lost another one. There were casualties. All right, get back here. Attack. And go. All right, so I just have to get my timing down right. As soon as it moves the legs, get out. All right, there we go. Nearly got this one, nearly got this one. Oh, too far away. Move. 
Okay, uh, I didn't lose anybody there. Yeah, I said, I wish you didn't have to be so close. Move. All right, now we definitely have him this time. In fact, I'm confident enough that I'm going to stand right there. Okay, capture. Okay, so we're done with that. Okay, disband. And I'm just going to grab this because hopefully it seeds. Okay, it's food. Yeah, got a lot of food coming in. Okay, so we'll wait for him to be done, and then we'll try a merger. I do have a spot open, right? Just verifying. Yes, I do. We'll try to do a merge and see if we can get a two-star. And there we go. We have our new friend, who we're hopefully going to get a more powerful friend out of this. All right, so let's go over to here. And we're going to have to do some swaps. So we'll just swap them with the uh, four-star scorpions so we know who's going back, right? All right, you and you. Okay, 92%. And the answer is success. Okay, so I have a two-star Christmas beetle now. And I have, I'm going to have to make some room. You know, I can just go ahead and do this because I'm probably going to need to do this for the future anyway, right? So I just have an extra spot available. All right, so why don't we just put him down there and then we're going to swap you and you because you're not ready to go in yet. Even though technically this and this are probably the same strength right now. It could very well be that the Christmas Beetle is a little bit stronger because his stats were a little better. He has better health after all. Um, but you know what? We'll wait for him to get that third star. And after that, I don't know what I do with the Rhinoceros Beetle. The other one, I mean, kind of like I've kept the three-star Tiger Beetle, which is kind of useless. And of course, the Monarch Butterfly, which is incredibly useless indeed. Anyway, that's about it. So... Uh, the Christmas event, you can see it's all maxed out, but like I said, in less than an hour, it's going to reset for me because, of course, the uh, candy cane. Yeah, very important thing. That's the reason I make such a big deal about it when I do my little preview videos. Um, for those who didn't see it, yeah, I'm sorry about that, but that's unfortunately, it's the way you learn. Believe me, I did it that way in the past, and uh, it's a hard lesson to learn when you realize, oh, if I had just done this. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Anyway, this event, of course, goes on for another 17 days. So you will have the opportunity to get more summonses, even past the candy cane. That's assuming you don't even gem another one, right? Because you can do that. It's not showing it at the moment because it's still running. I do believe it's there, the little buttony thing where you see the 24-hour candy cane. Once it runs out, you'll be able to get one there if you want. But again, it's going to cost you gems. But then again, if you look over here, there's plenty of opportunities. Oh, the acorns. I didn't realize that they nerfed the acorns. They used to be 25 each. Now they're 20. Oh. Okay. It is what it is, right? It was nerfed. How very unfortunate. But it's still a powerful tool for getting uh, activity up there, you know? The anthill... Obviously, one of the benefits to that one is you're going to get gems for doing it. You saw me do it. I got 10 gems. And if you do it right, you know what you're doing? It can be done pretty quickly, too. You saw me just march right in. It is dangerous if a uh, soldier actually sees you on the way in and grabs you. Then, yeah, you're going to be dead then. So you want to be careful with your timing. But, you know, it is something that uh, is beneficial in two ways. One, it's going to get you a lot of activity. Two, it's going to get you gems. And I think there was actually a daily quest for that, too. You can see I actually did it up there. Although, not really heavy on the reward. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya.